Hi everybody. Today's video is all about where to find MIDI accompaniments and how to get them ready to use on your digital piano. Let's get started. So let's take a look at the media accompaniments that are on the market for piano methods. Now let's get into our internet browser here, in this case we're using Google Chrome, and this will work just fine in Microsoft Internet Explorer or in Mozilla Firefox. Whatever browser that you use to get on the internet will work just fine. We've opened up a new window, and let's type in, we're going to go to Amro Music's website, www.amromusic.com. And then we're going to put a slash and MIDI accompaniments. That's M I D I dash A C C O M P A N I M E N T S. Once you've got that in, hit enter and the site should load just fine for you. Now we've got a whole page dedicated to showing you some tips for using MIDI accompaniments and which ones are available. Now the first thing we've got on this page as we scroll down is going to be a video. It's actually two videos that'll play back to back. And each one's about an hour long, so sit down and watch this when you've got some time. Now, we had a workshop featuring Katherine Davis. Now, she's a clinician for the Roland Corporation, and she specializes in using digital pianos to teach today's students. She spent several hours covering teaching strategies with piano teachers actually at Digital Instruments. So it's a, just a fascinating clinic. If you're just getting started with using MIDI files, you'll find this very helpful because it'll give you a lot of tips and tricks and ideas for what you can do with these accompaniments um, beyond just playing along with a backing track. And that's really what sets MIDI apart, is that these are editable, customizable files that you can choose what you want to listen to, what you don't. You can change the tempo. Again, we've already talked about that in a previous video. Now, once you've watched the video, a great resource below, we've compiled all of the piano methods that are in print that have MIDI accompaniments available. Now, here at AMRO, we have access to all of these. In fact, we have most of them in the store. There are a few exceptions to that, and that's because some of the publishers are discontinuing, unfortunately, uh, actually creating the media, the discs, that these would come on. But they're still available. Now, and you'll notice that that's typically with some of the Alfred's methods, Alfred's basic prep course, for example. Uh, they offer those accompaniments online, and as does Alfred's Basic Piano. So let's just click that. Now it's going to take you to an external website, www.alfred-music.com. And for your convenience, we've clicked them here. So as you can see, we've opened yet another browser window up here, and it's taken us to an external website, alfred-music.com. Now this is just a side-by-side -side website with their main website, and on the site is all of their recordings and accompaniments that are available for all of their catalog. So you'll find not just piano music here, but you'll also find band and string titles, you'll find a real recordings, you'll find uh, just a tremendous amount of content here that might just be fun for you to explore around for yourself. But today we're looking for accompaniments for piano methods. So we need to filter down. So let's go over here to our categories list and let's look for something that tells us that we're looking for piano. And there it is. And we can see that for piano, they have 1,667 uh, accompaniments available. So there's a lot to choose from. So let's click that and see what loads. And now it's pulling it up here in alphabetical order. So that's one way that we can just scroll through is look until we get to Alfred's. But let's just see what other options we have. And actually, it's really convenient. Look over here in the bestsellers. We can see that they're giving us information. It looks like some of their bestsellers are the Alfred's Premier Piano Course. So we can click that and let's see what pulls up. And it looks like we have the option to purchase. For $7.95, we're going to get all of the files for Lesson Book Level 1A. Now, that's helpful because that's going to be everything in the book that's available. And you're going to be able to get that and use that over and over and over again. These are tremendous uh, value. And we're going to show you how to get some of the tracks here in just a second. But for now, let's pop back over to Amro's website and carry on. If you're not very comfortable using the computer to download files, you don't like to do a lot of shopping online, don't worry. There are a lot of methods that have these accompaniments available that you can get right here at AMRO or in your local dealer. And a lot of these come with the student lesson books. Uh, we find that a lot of the books that come with a CD, now those CDs will play in any CD player, 
But if you actually load those CDs into the computer, they're what's called an enhanced CD. Now the enhanced CD allows us to open it up the, the, the disk and pull the files right off. Let's take a look at how to do that. Okay, so we're ready to start using accompaniments. We've got the Hal Leonard All-in-One Piano Lessons, book A here, and I've taken the CD out of the book. Now, if you're ready to do this, here's there are going to be a couple basic pieces of equipment you're going to need. Obviously, a computer with a CD drive or a DVD drive, which will read CDs. And you're also going to need a flash drive or a USB drive or a thumb drive, whatever you choose to call it. And basically, one easy step. We've got to locate the MIDI files and transfer them to the floppy, or excuse me, to the flash drive. Uh, why do we need to do that? Well, most modern digital pianos no longer have CD drives. Now, if you have a CD drive, your digital piano might very well work with the CD. But most newer instruments accept a thumb drive, a USB drive. It's all the same thing. So, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to open up the disk, find the MIDI files, and we're going to copy and paste them to the flash drive. And that's an easy step. You've probably done stuff like this before with other types of files. But if in case you haven't, we're going to walk through step by step. So here we go. All right, on our Windows computer, we've opened up the computer. On a Mac, you would just put in the disk and it should pop right up or you'd go to the navigator. Now, let's right click the disk and let's open. We don't want to run the enhanced content. Uh, you can choose to do this and look around and it might open up a web page uh, that's clickable where you can listen to all of the different files. But for our sake, we're trying to make it this as easy as possible. Let's right click and let's click open. And we're going to have some files. Now, if I had to guess where I'd find the MIDI files, probably in a folder called MIDI. Now, there, we'll look for that in case your disk looks a little different with a different method. You may need to look around for that. But you're looking for something that says MIDI. So let's double click it to open. And here it looks like a lot of files. Now, I can see that these appear to be some sort of sound or music related file because of the little icon that's being used. And I'm looking over here at the file type and they say MIDI sequence. Now, it's called a sequence because this is basically just computer generated instructions, not actual sound recordings. And you can see by the file size, they're very small because it's just basically computer code and your computer or your digital piano is going to read that and turn it into sounds that we hear. So take a look. It looks like on this CD, there are 33 MIDI files and that corresponds to the 33 exercises in the book that the students play. So, we're ready to copy and paste. Now, one thing we didn't show you, let's go back to the computer. I've got my flash drive here. Now, I know it's my flash drive because I've plugged it in. If I unplug my flash drive, you'll see that it's, go it's gone away. So let's plug it back in. You'll want to make sure that your flash drive is empty, by the way. You don't want to have anything else. You might even want a dedicated flash drive simply for using your MIDI accompaniments. Back to the computer, back onto the disk, open. Let's find the MIDI. And what we need to do is we need to select all. Now there's a couple ways we can do this. We can click the first, hold down the shift keyboard on uh, shift key on our keyboard and click the last one. And we can see we've selected all. Or we can use Control A or on a Mac, Command A. And we can see we've done that. So let's right click and let's click copy. If you're a keyboard person, typically I'd use Control C or Command C. We copied them. Let's locate our flash drive, open it up. Let's right click, let's click paste or Command-V, and it's copying the files, and they're on our flash drive. In this case, it's the H drive. It might be something different on your computer. Don't worry about that. Just make sure that you're copying it to the actual USB thumb drive. That's all there is to it. And now we're ready to unplug the flash drive and go to our digital piano. That's our next video. I'm excited. I know you are too. Hope you found this helpful. Hit the subscribe button if you did, and of course, comment below with any questions or comments that you've got. Thanks for watching. Thank you.